You've seen how the market systems approach helps people living in poverty, raising incomes, creating jobs, and improving access to services. This video explains the principles and methods that make the market systems approach so different. As practitioners, our watchwords are scale and sustainability. We want large numbers of people to benefit, far beyond initial locations and individuals. And we want them to continue to benefit long after our interventions end. Working in the markets that matter most to poor people, our programs share a few well-defined principles. We recognize that markets are complex systems, having many actors and functions. They can be dynamic and unpredictable. Instead of quick fixes, we seek to address the root causes of exclusion and dysfunction. This requires a realistic vision of how markets will carry on working better after our interventions end. So we act as facilitators, finding opportunities to align market actors' interests and capabilities with poverty reduction goals. All this means there are no blueprints for success, no simple recipes to bring about inclusive, sustainable development. This fact alone can be hard to reconcile with the pressures on aid agencies to spend quickly and deliver predictable results in short time frames. Fortunately, we have plenty of practical experience about what does and doesn't work in different contexts. We know that success builds upon the genuine incentives and capabilities of local actors, the people who will uphold system changes in the long term. So, we take time to understand business and government capabilities, individuals' attitudes, economic and social relationships. We take note of power relations and institutions, the rules and social norms that influence behavior, and we build local ownership of change, amplifying the energy and ideas coming from people within each market system. In practice, we often start with a few business partners, kickstarting pro-poor innovations that leave them better motivated and capable in the future. But we avoid getting over-invested in one business's success at the expense of system resilience. Instead, we stimulate replication and crowding in, using risk-sharing, advocacy, demonstration effects, and other interventions. This spreads innovations to wider circles of businesses and much larger numbers of beneficiaries. Our programs tend to employ distinctive tactics. We keep a low profile, encouraging leadership from organizations and businesses that are long-term actors. We create spaces for dialogue, since solutions often emerge from people within, not outside a system. We are cautious with subsidies and support, so as not to undermine incentives for innovation and investment. And, in the face of uncertainty, we deliberately experiment taking risks, learning rapidly from failure and amplifying successes. In the end, these tactics mean our programs are geared to uphold long-term changes that benefit people living in poverty and avoid activities that create unsustainable results. In comparison to much conventional aid, the market systems approach can be demanding to manage. It requires vision, some adaptive management, a commitment to learning and a capacity to refine or abandon intervention activities midstream if necessary. The rewards for this investment and flexibility lie in the scale of impact and the sustainability of results that the approach can achieve. You can find out more at the BEAM Exchange.